Hey folks, welcome back to another video. You join me on an absolute scorcher of a day. Not very often I get to say that here uh, on the edge of Flamberis, but it's wall to wall sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. I'm sweating just stood here. Dog's panting away, he's got some water, but he's in the shade, so he's not too bad. Paddle borders, all the usual going on in the lake. Absolutely beautiful. Today's video, lanyards. Five uses of lanyards, including a review of the Rock Empire PIP. Words to that effect, at least. Right. Petzl Connect Adjust. I've talked about lanyards on the channel before. This is my sort of uh, lanyard of choice. We all used to use slings back in the day and just put a knot in them. They worked, they weren't dynamic, that has its problems. I then bought a Kong slide, five pounds, there or thereabouts. I'll put a link in the description below, plus your own rope and carabiner. Cheap, functional, not very smooth to use. Then eventually I succumbed and bought this thing that you see at every crag everywhere these days, a Petzl Connect Adjust. More money, about 42 pounds. You'll have to do some uh, translating into dollars or euros or whatever if you're from a different country. Get them cheaper obviously, but that's the retail price of them. Dynamic rope, that's a good thing. 9.5 millimeter rope. They have to meet CE specifications and that is a minimum of 15 kilonewtons breaking strain. I imagine as with most of these things, they'll probably break it even more than that. Into your harness, fire a girth hitch, Lark's foot, and then great, it's dynamic, plus it's easy to adjust one way or the other. Much smoother than a Kong slide. Much more expensive than a Kong slide as well, but uh, that's the way it goes. I use mine with a self locker because it's quick to go in and out of stuff. Use that for years. Wearing really well, got a little bit of fraying, but nothing I'm super excited about, loads of life left in it. And then this week I have been sent, well, last week actually, uh, Rock Empire PIP. Hopefully I'm holding that in roughly the right place. Very similar bit of kit, all right? Looks almost identical, except the metal bit looks a bit different. The principle's the same. Pull the rope, goes through, open it up that way, pull the rope the other way, it goes through again. Really smooth. To use. I've only used it a couple of times and that's all I need to use it to be able to tell you that with um, some confidence. Very similar. You lark's foot, girth hitch it in, it's dynamic. It's slightly skinnier rope. I'll explain why that might be a good thing in a minute. Uh, it's eight millimeters. Does that make it stretchier? I don't know. I can't actually see any information on their website about that. Weighs virtually the same as a uh, Petzl Connect. It's 125 grams plus the carabiner of course girth hitch it into your harness and then you can do whatever you're going to do with it. So those five uses, right, I'm going to imagine I'm on a sport route. I've got to the top, I'm going to clean it. So imagine that these are bolts. I clip into the bolt, do it up and I can crank it one way or the other, sit back on it, do my cleaning of a sport route. That's a really good use for these lanyards, isn't it? It's better than a sling, it's better than a quick draw, it's a good bit of kit for that job. See them at sport crags all over the world. Good for that, isn't it? Now, in a work sense, what I do a lot of the time is I do lots of rigging. So maybe I've got these two points rigged up with this blue ice uh, Alpine runner, and maybe I'm gonna get another one over there, but I've got to go to the edge to do a master point or something. My first line of defense against falling off the top of a crag is to not fall off the top of a crag. I'm gonna stay like nice and solid on my feet, use my hands where necessary but it's good to have a kind of uh, a mobile positioning system, if you like. So I'm gonna use this Sterling hollow block. I'm gonna do a uh, Clem heist on the uh, rope that I'm starting to rig. Excuse me, wiping my face. Honestly, it's that hot that I'm sweating just chatting to the camera. I'm gonna test it, it's not locking yet, so I'm gonna need another wrap. Da -da -da -da, one more wrap to there. Just always test these before you actually need to rely upon them. There you go, that's locking now. Now, the advantage of this, I can clip into it, do it up. I will be putting a self locker on this soon. And I can move this around now, I can slide it up. And then if I was to fall, I'm attached to it. So I probably want to crank that a little bit more to get myself a bit tighter on it. The nice thing with this, I can also adjust it quite easily under weight. I can just pull on that thumb bit and there you go. I can extend myself down if I need a bit more slack to do a knot or something like that. But I can now move around the top with a little bit of extra security. It's a nice way of doing it. When I'm working, I, I'm trying to give my paying customers the best time in the world, but in many regards, I consider myself number one, you know, my safety, because they're not there to look after me. I'm there to look after them and I've got to look after myself as well. So that's one thing we can do with it. 
It could be, though, that let's we'll ditch this for a second. It could be that I'm multi pitching. And let's say we're in the Dolomites or the Alps or anywhere like that, where this is like a, a bolted belay and I get to it and it can be really quick. Sometimes they'll be linked with chains and things. Uh, other times they won't be, but I can clip into something. Perhaps it's this master point ring. I can clip into that. And so that's no different to the other uses. Is I've clipped into something. I can get my belay device out, clip that onto the master point as well. And away I go. It was quick. It was easy. Would it have been quicker? to clove it my rope into there because I would be tied in obviously when I'm climbing. Would it be quicker? When you can tie a clovich, right, you can tie a clovich pretty quick, can't you? So I don't think there's any great time saving by using a lanyard rather than clovitching your rope into the master point. It does mean you're like out of the system if you're to do some other varieties and it also climbing in a pair, it might be quicker on these bolted anchors. Climbing in a three, when you're climbing in a three, a lanyard is really nice to be able to free rope up really easily for swapping leads and stuff. So I like it that way. Would I use it on trad though? So point that was point number three, using it on like multi-pitch uh, sport route sort of setups or trad routes with bolted belays, which are quite common in the Alps and stuff. But would I use it on genuine trad where, you know, often in the UK, I'm, uh, Building my own belay, no bolts, no pegs, just you know, nuts, cams, all that kind of thing. And often they're far apart, so it doesn't always make sense here to link them with a sling. So I've taken that sling off, and I know these are close together, but let's just imagine they're further apart. Now, what I'll often have to do, like I say, is use the ropes. So I'm gonna come up to one. There are tons of things I can do here, and I've done videos on this before, but I could do something like, okay, they're in reach, so a clove hitch, do that up, leave some slack in here, another clove hitch. You can see clove hitches don't take me long to do. And then with this middle bit, I could build a master point there, couldn't I? Figure of eight again. I'm now part of the system, but I could go into that, couldn't I? Bear with me, I know it's the same colour as well, which isn't great. I can get myself tight on it. I could get myself tighter and be completely off this if I wanted to. I could then get my belay device, clip that into the same master point and set it up guide mode. And now if I'm in a three, actually it's really easy being careful not to drop stuff, but I can't drop this rope because it's attached into there. If I want to swap a lead or something, so I'm going to lead again perhaps, I can give that to one person, I can take their rope, we buddy check and stuff like that. And I've been independent because I've been on my lanyard. So I'm not going to do that by default on trad. I'm normally going to use the rope on trad and just clovitch myself into things, but climbing as a three, it might be useful, okay? Lastly, there's other uses, I'm sure you can come up with some, but just for the sake of keeping it to my five bullet points, I could set up an abseil, couldn't I? I'll just fix a line for this one. Uh, actually, I'll get that sling back out and do it a bit better. I might get the sort of the middle of the rope, I won't actually get the middle, but I'll get sort of two strands of it. You can use a normal sling or this blue ice alpine runner. Clip that in. You know, it might be abseiling off a mail on or who knows what, but perhaps I'm bailing, so I'm having to leave some kit behind. I get the middle of the rope, I loop that in. Now, this one, I never really like doing this with the Petzl Connect actually, and it's partly because the rope is um, stiff to pull and because it's a bit fatter as well, the knots end up quite bulky. Whereas with this eight millimeter rope, the knots are a little bit less bulky. So I can clip into here, all right, do that up. I can get myself like an extended setup now. And I've done other videos on this, so I'm gonna rush through it. But you can see, I think, why it's slightly better with this Rock Empire PIP. Now, when I do this with the Petzl Connect, I always find that just that extra bit of bolt means I don't have much to play with and it just doesn't work that nicely. Uh, where did I put that um, sterling? There he is. Get a few wraps on there, probably need a wrap less, I should imagine. I'm gonna do a French Prusik or Auto Blocks, the different name for the same thing. Normally, actually, I put that on first when I've got a load of rope beneath me, like that. And then I can get that the right way around 
load up the two ropes. Like I say, I'm rushing through this bit. I've done other videos on how to abseil. But what we can see is I've now got my abseil set up. I can test the abseil by leaning back on it. Prusik's locking, belay device loaded correctly and done up. Prusik carabiner is done up as well. And my lanyard's still being loose. And I often find with the Petzl Connect, I find it hard to keep that looseness there so I can really check it. Is it the end of the world and all that about the Petzl Connect? No, absolutely it isn't. But I do think it's something that's slightly nicer about this Rock Empire PIP. So let me just derig that for a quick summarization of it all. Do I like the Petzl Connect? Yeah, I do. Do I prefer the Rock Empire? Honestly, I, I thought this was going to be one of those cases, a bit like with this actually, I thought when I tested for the first time this Giga Jewel, I was going to do a review on it and then put it in the cupboard with all those other bits of kit that I never use, but actually it's the one that lives on my harness, it's my go-to all-rounder sort of belay device. And honestly, I thought it'd be the same with this Rock Empire as well. I thought I'd get sent it and go, oh yeah, that's really good. It's just like every other lanyard and chuck it in that cupboard and keep on using the good old Petzl Connect that's been on my work harness and stuff for years. It's actually the same though. I'm gonna keep this one on my harness. It is just that little bit nicer to use. If you've got a Petzl Connect, keep using that Petzl Connect. If you're in the market for a lanyard, I would actually, suggest it's worth checking out i'll leave it at that i think it's a good thing as always chuck those comments uh below if you've got any questions or anything like that i am going to disappear any second just to wipe my face because i feel disgusting right now click the like button smash the subscribe button fast on insta facebook use the buy me a coffee link to support the channel all those things i ask every time the support massively appreciated as always though thanks very much for watching more videos coming up very soon